Good afternoon, everyone. It's about 10 to 6 here on uh, Friday the 4th of February, uh, non-farm payroll day. And uh, as you probably know, the uh, non-farm payroll number came in better than expected at a three-month high. But perversely enough, uh, that's probably bad for stock markets in that it boosts expectation of a 50-point uh, basis point rise in interest rates in the U.S. in March. Uh, the uh, S&P has moved back and forward all afternoon, um, or afternoon that is. It's only lunchtime across there, and is up, uh, what, 15 points. Uh, Vector Vest advises caution. Sh nothing has changed. The short-term trend of the market is up. Underlying trend is still down, and we've got a confirmed down in place. So if we have a, a quick... Uh, look at the VectorVest composite for the US and I've loaded the medium term market timing system called the DEW which is what I am going to use. I can't tell you what you're going to use but what I am going to use uh, to actually get back into this market in a meaningful way. Uh, and as you can see uh, it's comprised simply and robustly of a moving average and a momentum indicator and uh, when the uh, moving average, when the price closes above the moving average and the momentum indicator comes up through its zero line, well, that prints a buy signal. If we go to uh, the DEW and you can see uh, there are some signals as it's a good bit beaten about here in this uh, sideways market. Uh, but uh, it's got a little bit of work to do especially on the momentum here momentum has been very strong to the downside it's going to take a while for that to right itself so uh still uh, nothing uh, uh to do for me for the moment uh so if we now uh, and just jump uh to the s p 500 and i've loaded initially a weekly chart of the s p 500 over the last nine months and uh, if I can get rid of this line uh, as you can see I'm using my eight uh, week stochastic which I've got a great deal of faith in and the eight week stochastic is pointing uh, that soon within the next couple of weeks I think we should be getting a weekly low here is it going to go down and make another low uh, a new low here before that uh, well time will tell uh, if we now have a look at the uh, daily chart so we've got the daily chart stochastic uh, up in an oversold situation here and the market in fact went up or the S&P went up and it broke above that particular high and it closed up there. Now that's quite important folks because if this was an impulse wave down and that's one, this is two, that's three, and that's four. It, it, it's pushing it to be a wave four up here now because wave four should not, in fact, interfere with wave one. And this has closed above that level. It's, it's, a, it, it's touch and go. Uh, so that, uh, that very strong push up to that level uh, is actually quite bullish. Uh, and... Uh, we could easily get, uh, even under the most bullish circumstances, a pullback uh, to here or here uh, before this weekly low is in. And I would suspect that the daily stochastic will get down here and get down here fairly quickly. This afternoon, market's just ranging in here. It hasn't really done anything at all. Uh, I was long for most of the week up into that high. Uh, that was an obvious place to get out selling. I didn't get the high, but uh, somewhere up around there. Should have had a short yesterday, but uh, uh, was elsewhere. Didn't get it at all. Uh, and I haven't done anything this afternoon. Uh, although it uh, looks positive now. Many uh, uh, bullish people, in fact, counting this from the low. In other words, they said that this was A, B and C. And now we've got one, two, three, four, and we've got another little five to go before we get uh, the first meaningful pullback. Uh, so uh, as always, uh, you can count these things till the steam comes out your ears. Uh, the only thing that's real uh, is the trends in the market. And uh, the trend on VectorVest is saying short-term trend is up. 
uh, but the longer term trend is down. I've got one position. I, uh, in fact, uh, uh, send a video out on that. I couldn't resist it. I said I was going to wait for a, a, a DEW signal. I just couldn't resist. The setup was just so good. And uh, as you can see, we've got a flag and the low of that flag is 62% of the last range. Uh, and it burst out of the flag on good volume and then it goes into this multiple inside pattern on falling volume and then it breaks out of that on good volume and I actually bought it uh, in fact when I did the last video I was waiting for the entry but I bought it at 72.50 which was just here it's now got to get through this old high but I like this in other words it's going sideways and there is in fact uh, no volume coming into it and that's normally a sign uh, that uh, there isn't any sellers around so volume uh, can be useful it's not easy many people remark that many of the trades are not booked uh, onto the next day or the day after that but it's the best that we've got it's another data stream and it's the best that we've got so that's all i've done i've been naughty there and that i've got in uh, just on the primary wave but uh, 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 let's see how that goes the stop loss is still uh, down under the under the slow here the stop loss is at 66 a long long way uh, away so uh, when I make about $10 in that, I'll get the stop up to entry far, far too early to do that. And it's going to take a strong market to get through, strong overall market to get through these highs. Uh, on Monday afternoon, when I do the Vector VS Q&A, uh, I will have a, and present a uh, half a dozen stocks that I, I, I like the look of. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, the stocks that have been trending uh, are oil stocks they uh, to me are a little bit overbought at the moment and those of you that look at the crude price will note that it's sitting at a major Fibonacci target uh, it can go an awful lot higher that's for sure uh, but uh, uh, it is stretched on the upside so just be careful there uh, and the trade looking very crowded indeed very proud of my trade and and what's now called shale uh, uh, that uh, trade we got into at Vectorvest right at the lows of the oil market and it hasn't been easy going on the way up but nevertheless uh, managed to sit in at the whole way up from about 11 or 12 to over 20 today uh, not shooting the lights out but uh, not bad at all in the UK folks have got the uh, UK market here uh, and uh, again we've got uh, not down situation short term trend is up underlying trend is down we've got a confirmed down that's been in place for a while now vector best advocates caution when buying stocks at this time so i think i've got the composite here uh, no that's the american one i think i've got the composite let me just pull it up uh timing uh market timing there we are uh, and uh, uh, we've got uh, this situation where uh, pretty much the same as the uh, American market uh, and if we go to the DEW uh, we can see that the DEW again has got quite a bit of work to do before it breaks through that uh, particular level okay uh, so uh, if we have a look at this a little bit longer there is a uh, a major level at work here uh, and if we were to get through this high and this comes up through zero uh, then that's going to be a very useful buy in signal again you can see one two three four is this going to be uh, five up uh, time will tell uh, nothing done in the UK I have four or five positions that I've held on to for a while now uh, but uh, nothing new uh, done in the UK if we go back to the American market uh, and uh, the Dow is now up uh, uh, 19 points on the day pushing up towards that 4,500 level very important level uh, to reclaim uh, and uh, that is the uh, daily Dow uh, pushing up uh, uh, normally late on a Friday we tend to get a fairly decent move uh, and let's see what happens so uh, Monday afternoon uh, I'll be presenting a watch list for the US uh, if and when the market does turn up 
uh, and a watch list for the UK. The uh, economic news out of the UK today was pretty dire, uh, so we may have a day or two to wait uh, for that confirmed up uh, with a whole uh, about four or five interest rate hikes, in fact, anticipated by the market over the next uh, few months. So we have to be careful, we have to wait, we have to bide our time. Anybody that's listening that doesn't have a link for Monday afternoon, uh, well, just email me, david.paul at vectorvest.com, and I'll send you one. Okay, folks, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.